quite obvious it's an oak, but let's just suppose it was winter, right? You'd come up and it's alternate, and then you'd go, oh, there's clustered buds, it's an oak, right? You can see already this one's bigger than willow, but I'll tell you what, if we weren't teaching willow oak, I'd be saying these are the smallest buds. Because the, you'll see, after you get them all, you'll see like, wow, that was. So willow's really tiny. And these are going to be small for, our, for oaks in comparison to some of the others. It's in the red oak group, and pin oak is kind of known for this leaf. It goes, the sinuses, which is this part, right? It almost pinches all the way into the middle. So very, very, very long lobes, or conversely, you'd say very, very deep sinuses. So they're kind of, you see the ones laying on the ground from the other groups. And they're pretty consistently that way. You'll get some other trees that up in the sun they might look like this, but then in the shade they'll be completely filled in. Uh, you're going to see that today. So this is consistently very deep, and it does tend to hold on to some leaves as well in the winter. You can always find those. And it's a striated acorn. You see those faint kind of striations? That's, that's known as a striated acorn. Not very not huge differences in color, but you can see the striations. Right? What it has is a very shallow, poorly fitting cap. Let me see that actually. You can fake it. Look at that. There you go. Well, there we go. That basically is it. It's kind of a, the wrong size hat. It sits right on the top and looks a little tight. Now this one, for about, at least through the equivalent of its young adult life, that it was a person. Then later, they get so big that they, they take really like a big oak form. And this one's just transitioning out of it, but for a fair portion of its life, branches at the top go up distinctly, then they gradually make their way to straight out and then they start pointing down. It looks like that. This has no pointing down because they prune them off so you don't whack your head on the, on the, on the bicycle. They prune them. If this was a wild one in the woods, it would ha there'd even be dead limbs left that are bent angling down let alone live ones. There'd be some live ones that even the dead limbs, like bones, would be hanging on there and sticking down. But again, they pruned it up. You can kind of see the out a bit and then the, the up, but not, it's kind of turning into, it's, it's moving out of that phase. But there's a lot around on campus. In the winter time, when the leaves are off, they kind of look like a dead spruce tree. We're going up, out, and down. Uh, so that, that, that form can, and then full of the pin branches as well. That you can get it with the form a little bit. Uh, I didn't say anything about willow and this one's bark. They, they're almost identical. It's hard to describe. It's, it's relatively thin and very irregular. And what I mean by thin is not thick. It's hard to, to put a word to that one. Look at it. <laughs> it's not a, it's very hard to sit here and talk about its ridges and furrows. But even big trees, it's not very thick to bark. It doesn't, it doesn't develop. And others are going to get real, real thick part. Those will be some mistakes.